Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew, interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word. This is certainty and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick show. Uh, it's going to be more of a speak over commentary. Uh, I don't have those scriptures lined up. But, you know, I trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with faith, as always, that he give me, um, you know, a word to speak. All right, and to edify. And uh, this is going to be based off, you know, what I was talking to a brother earlier. We was talking and getting down and we was talking about faith, you know, and how and how faith is 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 the main ingredient. If you don't got it, you 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 can't make it. Faith is the main ingredient. Faith like if 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 you go to the supermarket and you wanna make this dish, one of the main ingredients is gonna be the actual meat itself. Like you can't make this type of dish unless you have that type of meat. So if you know, if you decide to make some certain type of dish, whatever particular dish that you was thinking about making, you gotta go and get the main ingredient. The main ingredient could be steak. The main ingredient could be the chicken. You know? The main ingredient could be the fish. Well, faith is that main ingredient, man. And uh, according to Ephesians 2 and 8, faith is a gift. Uh, from Yahweh, all right. Faith is a gift from the Most High, and uh, the Lord gives His elect faith, the main ingredient. That's how we're going to be delivered through faith. Remember, Yahweh Shai laid His life down. Okay, He spilt His blood for the elect. You know, He spilt His blood for all of Israel, but it started with the elect because the elect is first, the, the foundation, the first fruits. All right. And, um, you know, faith, faith, fear, fear is another uh, key, another ingredient that you must have, okay? You must have. And when you get it, you don't want to lose it, you know? Now, I hope this lesson, this commentary helped, brothers. You know, I hope it feeds you to build upon your faith and the truth, you know, for especially us brothers that have been around and doing the work. You know, one thing, one hard thing about being in this truth is actually staying in the truth because outside of this truth, it's all distractions from Satan. Okay. It's all distractions. It is all distractions. And from Monday to Friday, when you're not around brothers and you got to do your daily duty, responsibility, or that nature, whatever the case it is, the case may be, just know that Satan is always there tempting you, man. You know, you get into the word tempt, temptation, it means to uh to desire to do something wrong or unwise. So Satan tempts you to do something wrong or unwise, man. Alright, but guess what? When Satan is all around, the most high is all around. Because the scriptures say, you know, uh uh he is he's in all our thoughts, man, roughly paraphrasing. You know, if the Lord is not in all your thoughts, then 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 you you're lacking faith, you're lacking fear, straight up. And um, you know, with Elder Apostle Tahar the head, okay, he put out an order for us to do three shows a week. You know, that's beautiful. You know, I said this before. If any brother had a problem with that order, you got some wickedness inside you, man. You wicked, being wicked, because. With that, with Pastor doing that, he's not only looking out for us, but it's helping us. He's looking out for us and our status with Yahweh Shai, man. You know, this thing of ours is spiritual, man. It's spiritual. Let me uh, pull over over here real quick and uh, finish up. Like I said, it's not going to be a quick show, but um, but this, you know, you got to. It's a spiritual, man. Fear and faith. When um, you know, if if you 
don't exercise your faith. You don't constantly exercise your faith. You're going to fall out. You know, you're going to be added to the scripture where it says many are called, but few are chosen. You're going to be added to the ones that were what? Few are chosen. You know, now by doing the works of the Lord, you know, and constantly, you know, doing three shows a week, even more. That's helping you stay conditioned and ready to give an answer for Yahweh Shai, keeping your garment. Because we're at the end. That's why things are getting more speeded up, you know. Now, not only just doing the works, but you it has to be in you. Remember, Paul said, have thou faith, have it to thyself first. It's all about you and your salvation. You know, the apostles want to get the hell up out of here, but they're ahead. So they got a tough task. They got to look out for our souls. And one way of looking out for our souls is to make sure that brothers are doing right by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, because they men just like us. We all really, we're, 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 we're a brother, we're a team, but it's really all about I, you know, because if you don't put forth your your will, your your uh let's say this if, if if you don't um if you don't have the willing spirit in you then guess what you're not gonna make it man you're not gonna make it because none of us brothers can actually save each other like yo no worry about it brother I got you we can't say that only way we can actually go about saving each other is that we get we encourage each encourage each other you know, pray for each other and uh, hopes that the Lord show mercy and to give you that uplifting uh, spirit so that you can have the willing spirit in you to keep pushing toward the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all the way to the end, you know, and uh, fear and faith, you know, you got to have, you got, you got to, the, the work, the, the work ethic is important because demons are coming at us left and right. So the work ethic is very important, you know, toward the Lord. Also, your work ethic should be praying. It should be never a time when you're not praying. It should be never a day, you know, that, that you should let slip by without talking to the Lord. You know, now we can, you know, we all know how to pray in this truth. Uh, Matthew, the sixth chapter teaches you how to pray, you know, and the more you get in, the more you in this truth and the more older you get, you know, you, you know, uh, you get, you meditate. You know, you be more spiritual with the Lord. You understand more. So every day, you know, there should be words of and discussion between you and the Lord. Every day, it should be a personal discussion between you and him. Okay? You and him. Every day. If you're not doing that, it's not in you. I'm, I'm just, I hope to reach inside of you and pull, you know, and, and help uh, certain brothers. That, that's all of the hopeful elect, you know, you got to pray and you got to do it every day. It shouldn't be a forced thing. It should just be a willing spirit to, you know, because being in this truth, it's a lifestyle. It's not a fab. It's not a phase. It's actually a lifestyle, man. You know, Paul said in Romans 12, give thy body as a living sacrifice. When we woke up and we accepted the Lord as our savior, Yahweh Shai, okay, we basically gave up our life. That's it. Because now you got to live according to the way that the Lord requires us to live. And no, we're not perfect at all. We're not perfect, but we're striving to be perfect, man. We're in this God forsaken sinful flesh, man. You know, this flesh is always going against the most high. It got that stony part in it, man. We're looking for the Lord to bring forth the kingdom and to take the stony part out of our members. Because we don't want it. We don't want it, man. At the end of the day, man, we just want the Lord to love us. We love the Lord and we be in harmony and peace. You know? You don't want to go off. Unless you're just a wicked guy inside. You know? But uh, uh, fear and faith. Fear is key. You know? Uh, I'm going to say also fasting. Fasting. We all know the, the uh, secrets of the Lord. Okay? Fasting is key. You know, you got people in the world, man, that's health fitness and people that got ailments and, you know, you know, with Dr. Sebi and other type of physicians out there, they don't put it out there in the world. 
You got people in the world that don't even believe in Yahweh Bashem El Shai, but they fasting. <laughs> they fasting. They fasting to get a uh, you know a reset on their body, on their certain organs. You know, you can fast that way to help your body, your flesh, you know. But us, we fast in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Hey, I'll tell you something. This guy, um, Yahweh Sop, I don't know if you you still listening, but you fell out. You know, he, he quit on us. He gave us a new. This was a couple of, couple, what was it, about a, two years ago? A year ago? I think two years ago. He gave us a new and basically said, you know, the boys is on to us. The top money is uh, to your right, you know, because we used to uh, use his garage and things of that nature. And he fell out. And um, he was very spiritual, though. But spiritual far as the world, you know, he would fast because he was very, he wouldn't eat meat. He was a vegan. He didn't eat meat in years. And um, and um, he would always talk about fasting. He doing, uh, I think they call it intramural fasting and things like that. But it was always toward his flesh. He would always fast toward his flesh. You know, all because he wanted better health. You know, he wanted better health, right? But that ain't cutting it because that's a fast to your flesh of the world that's not a fast toward your how about shimmy i was shy for spiritual things you know and we fast for the spiritual things we fast for to have that uh that faith in the end you know that strength the endurance to endure all the way to the end you know that's what you gotta you gotta uh fast for the spiritual things not so much more your flesh that's gonna come you know, the Lord is going to change us. Paul said we're going to be changed in the twinkle of an eye. Twinkle of an eye. All right. So uh, fear is key. You know, like I said before, you want to have that fear that you had when you first came in. The fear that you had when you first came in, you cared about how the Lord looked at you. You cared about how, you know, the Lord was going to judge you. You know. That's why you believe. That's why you got your act together. That's why you say, yo, you know what? I'm trying, I want to do that. I got to, yo, I want to, you know, learn these scriptures. I got to learn the word, you know, because you was fearing. Being in this truth, you can get into a routine and that shit, can, not shit, so like it, it can go out the door, man. That's why it's important to exercise your faith. And by doing that, is like the elder said, do your shows. That's helping, you know, because, um, because that's your study time too your sit downs you know you're doing it every day you know um every week all year round in season out of season let alone we going out on the highways and byways once once you know some brothers do twice a week you know as a camp but um the work uh praying and fasting these it's just three uh we, we you know the spiritual number three means understanding you know and, you know, everything is done by faith. And and that's what, uh, you know, I have uh, the Lord gave to me to understand, you know, and I hope to push that out there for brothers that, that need that, that anchor of hope and faith, you know, to keep pushing because these are things that are very important, man. If you're not doing these things, you're not really in the truth. The truth starts within you. We can all go through the motions. We can look like mockingbirds. You know, we can seem like this and seem like that because the camera's on. But at the end of the day, man, we want to be the elect. I, I know I do, you know. I know the brothers in the camp over here in Jersey, we all do, man. You know, so being sincere, that's another key word. These are uh, things that I've learned from the apostles. You know, I just you just put it in one jar. All the, the ingredients, put it in one jar at a side. You know how you, you know, like a woman, she she get a recipe. You know, that, hey, I'm giving you, hey, this is the recipe. You know, a woman would get a recipe, and then she'd write it down or whatever, screenshot it from Google or whatever, and then go cook it. You know, and he'd be like, damn, that shit good. Well, this is the recipe, man. You know, because Satan is at work, man. Satan is working, straight up. Yo, you, I could do this show right now. And go in the house and, and, and so many distractions come my way. So many other things to do. So many other things. Oh, I got to do that. Oh, I got to finish that. You know? It's like... 
<laughs> like soon, soon, soon as soon as the the shows, you know, the, the the session with the Lord and and with brothers out there that's listening in, when we doing the shows and recording ourselves, soon after it's done, Satan is right there. Like, oh, you ready now? Let's go. You know. But guess what? The Lord is everywhere too. You know. When you see wickedness, you know that's Satan. But then you got to know also the Lord, man. You know. One, it's, this is why you know Esau. You can't deceive the very elect because if wickedness and Satan and demons are real, how how much more the righteous power, man? We're seeing so much wickedness ramped up in this time in this age, you know, and being promoted that it's only evident that you that you just know the Lord is here, man. The Lord is coming. Just like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You like like the laws that they pass, you know, for homosexuals and transsexuals. Like, let the, these people are waxing worse, as the scriptures say. There's no way, no way that the Lord is going to allow Esau to rule and to allow this kingdom of wickedness to be uh you know put upon us uh excuse me i'm losing my lack of words but there's no way in hell the lord is going to allow this kingdom to stand man no way because it's, it's then gotten worse than it's ever been and sodom and gomorrah and those five cities were examples man when the lord rained brimstones of fire upon them man because the lord ain't having it what's being what's happening is that uh, two thirds of, of the Lord's people, you Israelites, you two thirds, Esau and these heathens are provoking the Lord. They're angering the Heavenly Father, and especially Esau. They're angering, they're angering him even more to bust a move. It's challenging, and the Lord is gonna bust a move, and that's the move that they should have never had, you know, uh, uh, wanted the Lord to do. Because the Lord is coming with vengeance, man. You know, to deliver the elect and to destroy the wicked. You know, and to bring everything into its right order. You know. So, hey, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, fear, faith, fast. What's that? F, F, F. You know, these things are very important, man. And you got to exercise your faith. You know, because, you know, sooner or later, they, they hey. The, the word of the Lord is going to be done That's it That's it Ain't going to be no more work to do You know Ain't going to be no more work And then realizing that The Lord is going The Lord is waking up more men now Than he ever did before You know Men are being woken up By the numbers You know This, this gospel is truly being preached Through the four corners And then we know the Scripture says Then shall the end come You know So So Exercising your faith, man. Having those conversations, uh, them godly conversations with yourself to see whether you are in the faith. You know, it's very important. You know, and that was just the spirit I got from the conversation with the brother earlier. You know, brother, you know, if you saw the video, you know what, what I'm talking about. And um, Lord willing, the Lord uh, deliver his elect. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.